Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be doing a bit of unboxing because I guess you could say I've seen the light. So let's go ahead, get this out of the box real quick, take a look at it, and I'll explain what I'm talking about. Okay, so we have it unboxed now, and what this is is actually a backlit LED uh, pad. Now, one of the things, I've had a fluorescent-based light box now for about 30 years. If you look back on some of my other videos, um, you've seen it. And one of the things it's great for working on different things where you need to backlight something or where you need to backlight something for demonstration purposes. Unfortunately, you're seeing a little bit of the glare from the fluorescent lights above the... Um, the pad. Uh, but one of the big questions you might be asking, why did I get this and why might you want to get one? Well, I actually stumbled upon this when I was looking for a couple different options because one of the big things in the design talk episode, you might have noticed that I've been doing a lot with uh, blueprints, um, you know, or mechanical drawings, really. And one of the great things that I like about this, especially with my older eyes, is being able to backlight mechanical drawings such as this so you can see all the measurements and all that. It's really easy, and I, I really like this. And this is one of the reasons I got it. The second reason I got it was actually for tracing parts. So what I want to be able to do is put a piece of graph paper on here, a white piece of paper, lay a part on here and trace that part out and then take that paper and then scan it in the scanner. Um, and I thought this would actually work very well because one of the, the things that I've uh, been trying to do is scan some clear parts, uh, clear plastic parts that I want to make replicas of. And the problem is because they're clear, they don't scan very well. So I need to trace them. So I thought this would be an interesting way to do it. Now, this thing was super cheap. This was sub 20 bucks. It comes in a couple different versions. Um, uh, one version is just a fixed light. This one has the variable light, so you can actually uh, touch this. It has the touch sensitive, and you can dim it and, you know, turn it all the way off or brighten it up. So it has, I think, three different levels of brightness or three steps of brightness. Uh, because I think the one that didn't have the adjustable brightness was like 10 bucks, and I think this was like 15 bucks. I'll have a link down below and card or something. But for the money, I thought it was great. Now, it uh, uses USB power. There's a, it's plugged into a wall ward over here, and it's got a micro USB connector on the side. And one of the things, this thing is super thin. So this guy here is just kind of uh, a crazy thin, if you will, as it's only about about four four millimeters thick so super thin you can see there's a little indicator light there's a usb the micro usb port for um, powering it on uh, and in one of the things the screen has like an electrostatic effect so th this this sheet is actually curved a little bit and when i put it down it just kind of sucks it down and uh, it's a4 size it has metric uh, measurements here, uh, centimeters, I believe, the way it looks. And uh, if I'm looking over here, uh, it has a working area of uh, 210 millimeters by 300 millimeters, uh, overall size of, of uh, 235 millimeters, 335 by 3.5 millimeters thick, uh, 3.5 watts LED. Um, so really kind of a cool, uh, you know, addition. And uh, so I'm going to have this one, you know, next to my, my working computer. So I can turn it on. I can pull the drawings out. I can put the drawings on here. I can sketch on here. And again, for sub-20 bucks, I don't think you can beat it. So anyways, hopefully you found this interesting. If you did find it interesting, hey, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget the bell button over there, which means go down there, hit that bell. Uh, if you've got other ideas like this, please share them in the comments. I'd like to hear about it. I love tools and that kind of stuff. Uh, also, if you have any questions about it, happy to answer it, share with you what I know, uh, what, what I think will work, what I don't think will work. Happy to do that. Uh, don't forget Swag Shop up there, and we'll see you guys in the next video where we get something else cool or make something. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.